Monday, October 14th. I believe so. Anyway. <clears throat> I've been having some really bad days. Um, not sure why. I posted, put my last post up yesterday. Um, and yesterday wasn't any better. Uh, I did go to my mother's feeling rather unwell. I don't do so bad driving though. That the male debarkment gets better while I'm driving, but then when you stop for a red light or a stop sign or anything, it's not good. But the movement of the car um, seems to steady the brain for the male debarkment. But I do find that if I try to, you know, when I'm checking my mirrors, that's fine. But if I turn quick to see if somebody's coming up onto the side of me, that kind of um so <laughs> probably not the greatest idea of me driving but anyways went to my mom's it was really pretty out yesterday and warm ish so i took her out um we just drove around i drove around for about an hour just drove her around and that was she was thrilled i mean she was so happy and content did stop at a grocery store not a grocery store. I had to stop at a a drugstore and while she sat in the car and waited and had to run in to get her a couple things that she needed that I didn't know she had run out. Tissues, denture tablets, you know, that kind of stuff. Anyway, did a lot of driving. So, you know, half an hour there, half an hour back, and an hour driving her all around. Um, did a lot of driving, but whole time really really battling got home and um thought maybe an epsom salt bath would help it did not it actually made my neuropathy worse i got out of the tub and my teeth my feet were worse very numb tingling um prickly my hands started feeling that way uh, the neuropathy was very severe last night. Uh, and it's so bothersome. You can't ignore that. Yeah, I'm constantly like rubbing my feet together and slapping them and they're just weird. And then sleep last night. Oh, God. I slept, but I woke quite a bit because I had the achy hips and lower back burning, aching which woke me up several times during the night. And then four o'clock this morning, I woke up jolted away, jolted with the burning. It, it, it almost feels like electricity is flowing down through your limbs. And it's like, it's coming out of my fingertips and out of my feet. Does that make sense? It's like I'm electric woman or something. It's, it's so weird. And you can't sleep. You can't sleep when your body is, like, jacked up like that. That's when I thought, oh, if I had a little THC, I could drop a couple of my tongue and see if it would knock me back out. But I'm still trying to figure out if I can... Maybe I should just go to the place and see what it's going to cost and, and, and take it from there. I don't, I don't know what to do. Um, I just got off the treadmill. <laughs> Because, alas, the weather is back to being crappy and rainy and cold and dark. So, um, first time on the treadmill in a long time, long time, um, covered in sweat, had a white ball off. I'm actually contemplating getting into the infrared sauna either today or tomorrow. Because I haven't done that since summer began. I haven't been in there for a red sauna in months. Just need to do something. Um, look back at the instructions that um, my NP had given me, my 
practitioner had given me the last time we saw each other um, in regards to the LDN and the clonopin. And no, I, I didn't move the LDN back um, because you're supposed to take it an hour before food or 20 minutes after food. If that makes sense. I'm going to ask the pharmacist about that because I don't know if that's really a, a must be. But I had gotten home late from my mother's and ate dinner and, and ate dinner late, so I didn't do the LDN at 6 o'clock like I was hoping to. Anyways, <clears throat> so that was one thing she had wanted me to do. But the other thing was I forgot about this. She had wanted me to increase my clonopin at night to 0.75 milligrams. I probably told you guys this in a, a way past um, vlog. And 0.25 in the morning. Do that for seven days. Then go to 0.5 at night, 0.25 at night in the morning. And then for seven more days. And then go back to my 0 0.25, 0 0.25. And I've never done that. And I don't think I want to. I don't see the point in that. I've been taking clonopin for a long time. I don't think increasing it for just seven days is going to, like... I think she thinks that doing that might snap something into my brain. Um, but I know clonopin, and it doesn't snap nothing. It makes things worse in the long run. So <clears throat> occasionally I will take a little chunk, a little piece off my, you know, a, so it's a, a quarter of a 0.5. Um, and it's not even a full quarter. It's even smaller than that. And I've told you that, that I'll take a little bit extra sometimes when at night when I just am a mess. I never feel like I can need to take it or want to take any more during the day. I, I just won't do that. But um, I guess I need to check out the CBD and the THC. Again, money is kind of tight, especially this time of year. Um, we have a ton of birthdays. We have my daughter, oldest daughter's is next week. And then in November, it's my, one of my grandsons, my son, and my husband's. Then in December, it's another grandson, my son-in-law, and mine. That's not including Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, so a lot of, a lot of, you know, birthdays and then the Christmas coming up and I want to buy the car or lease a car in November. So... We're trying to really, you know, um, check our finances. Guess this year, if everybody is on board, so far it seems like everybody's going to be on board. We're only exchanging gifts to the kids. Exchanging being, we're only buying for the grandkids. We're not buying for any of the adults. Everybody's kind of stretched this year. And because of the birthdays, you know, we all have a birthday. You get a gift then, forget the Christmas. You know, it's... <laughs> So, anyway, um, there's my um. Count how many times I say um in a, in a vlog. I hate when people do that. I hate it. I'm bothered by it, and yet here I'm doing it. Um, um, um. So, that's my Monday. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. And um, unless something else happens, I'll check in with you tomorrow. God bless. He's on the throne. Hi. Well, I'm going to tell you what day I know it is now. It's Tuesday the 16th. But all day, I thought it was Wednesday. Mm -hmm. The entire day I thought it was Wednesday. So I got in my car this afternoon and drove to see my mother because I was supposed to go visit her on Wednesday and got there and didn't understand why my uncle hadn't come in from out of town to visit her because he's supposed to be visiting her on Wednesday. When I called him, he's still in New York City saying, no, it's Tuesday. And I literally said, no, it's Wednesday. He said, no, it's Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Freaked me out. We've all had days that for a little few minutes or, you know, you have a, what day of the week is it? But to think that it's a day 
that it isn't the entire day. I told the people where my mother is, they better start getting a room ready for me because I'll be the next resident there. Honestly, craziness. Craziness. Took more clonopin last night because woke up burning, covered in sweat, feeling like somebody was putting a blowtorch on me. Laid there awake for an hour and a half. And finally, going into the second hour, I took a little more clonopin. It's a regular thing now, I guess. Can't do it. Um, walked three miles today. It was sunny, very cold. We're supposed to get snow showers, like, in the next two days, but then it's going to go up in the 50s again. So, great. Snow before Halloween. Not a good thing. So I just came on here quick to tell you that the day wasn't horrible, even though I thought it was Wednesday the entire day. I actually helped my husband move a dresser bureau six drawers um, down our staircase and out into our garage and into a truck and a single bed mattress box springs and frame and two nightstands I moved out of that with him because I am going to be turning that room into a playroom and I get something in my mind and he had rented a truck to help my son move some stuff from my son's gutting his kitchen. That's another whole story. So they had rented a truck and I said, well, we have the truck. Let's move this stuff out of here and bring it to the Salvation Army because I need a clean slate. Of course, the room is not clean. I've got more crap to sift through. Under the bed, I had a huge, one of those under the bed bins with every paper I ever was worked on, given, read, through nursing school, packed, packed with papers. I was like, why did I keep all this? I must have had a reason. Maybe I think at some point I knew somebody was going to go into nursing school and I wanted to keep it. So if she wanted to get some cheat sheets for me or I don't, I have to go through that, toys, I have to just clean out the room completely so my husband, at some point soon, hopefully maybe this weekend, he can start painting. I have a whole vision of what I'm going to do. I think I told you one wall is going to be a black chalkboard. And then bins, you know, those stack, no, 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 not stackable. They're like little cubby holes that you put the baskets in. Um, I've got ideas for the room. It's not a big room. I'll show it to you. I'm going to show it to you right now because it's show you what I have to take care of to get this room presentable. There's no light on in here, so I don't know if you can see very well, but you see how this crap's in this box? This right here, full, full of papers. So I have to go through all of this. And then the closet is full. You're not gonna be able to see in there. Clean everything out so we can paint. And um, make it a nice little place for the kids to go up to because now that the weather is crappy they can't be outside, and when the family all gets together, they're all, I like to hang out in my Four Season room, and that's where all their, their toy room is, and there's no getting away from the kids, so this way, we can go, go upstairs, kids, and I'll go upstairs, and, so anyways, at my mom's, I sat with her, I went through her jewelry box, she has a billion pairs of earrings, I went through all of them to match them all up. I'm going to buy her an earring tree and just keep a couple pairs that she would actually be able to wear. A lot of earrings she will never wear again. All these dangly earrings and stuff. A lot of it was garbage. A couple nice things. Um, I threw out like 
seven watches. They were cheap, you know, crap watches. And she doesn't wear watches anymore. And they all needed batteries. And I just threw them out. Um, when she used to wear pins. She was a office manager and always had jackets and always wore pins. Dozens of pins. She'll never wear pins again. I pulled out a couple. I'm going to give the rest to the thrift store. Um, and the next thing I need to do is go through her necklaces. She's got a box full of necklaces and they're all just tangled up in big mess. Go through those. Just keep a couple things. Get rid of the rest. Simple fly. Simple fly? <laughs> Simple fly. That's a word. Um, but that's what I did. We sat on her bed and did that together. It was a, something that she enjoyed doing, going through our earrings. and. But honest to God, I thought it was Wednesday. How I missed a day. And kept thinking, I have to babysit my grandson on Thursday. Kept thinking, so tomorrow I got to babysit, so I had to take my shower today. He had to shower because I got to babysit tomorrow. my brain and I'm gonna tell you the nights of this sleep crap is making my brain worse you have to get sleep without sleep you're not rejuvenating you're not regenerating you're not re anything my sleep is so bad that I will go insane if it keeps up Not that I'm not already insane, because apparently I think it's Wednesday. So that's it for today. Tuesday, October 16th, not Wednesday. Hi. This will be my third attempt to vlog today. I've had to um, erase the first two. So let's see if I can get through this one without crying. Yeah, I'm up on my bed. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. It's been a real battle today. I don't know. how to describe what I've been doing all day other than just scratching my way through the day. How sad is that? You'll forgive me right now. My head's very loopy. And um, I'm fighting air hunger pretty bad. gas in my upper chest which is making it feel really uncomfortable I slept all right last night but woke up worse than usual I mean I wake up bad every day but some mornings are like terror and that was today and it stayed with me for most part of the day, which is unusual. Um, I couldn't walk outside. It rained and rained and rained. It's very cold. And then after lunchtime, it looked like it was gonna clear up. So I threw on my boots and coat and went out and I got just about a mile and it started raining and I had to turn right around and get right out. And then my head got really, from that, my head got really wacky. I feel, um, completely drained. Throughout the morning, I worked in the room, 
cleaning out the closet and the closet in my other guest bedroom that used to be my son's room. Never really cleaned it out completely, and now I got a pile. I mean, almost as high as the ceiling of stuff that's got to go to my son's house. Went to the garbage can several times outside, dumping, just getting rid of all the stuff from nursing school. And oh my gosh, I had so much stuff to go through. And I just kept busy, just kept pushing, pushing, pushing. And I end up like this. In the morning, I threw myself a temper tantrum again towards God. Because my only hope is for him to return or to let me die. That's my only hope. I'm going to get through this without crying. But I don't have the money. We don't have the money to to seek out all these treatments that I don't see any evidence of true turning around. And boy, do I pray for you. I pray for you, Jen. I want to see so badly that you get better. Michelle, both of you Michelles, oh God, I want to see. I know that Carissa from Slice of Lime seems to be doing better, but she was very blessed in having some, having her grandmother, I guess it was a grandmother and mother, I don't know, buy them those, the amp coil and the sauna. I, I don't have that. And even so, the amp coil doesn't work for everybody. There's just no one thing that is guaranteed to do anything. And so my hope lies in the Lord taking me or returning. And I just don't understand why, if I want to go so badly, why he keeps me here. And I'll never know. I'll never know till he takes me home. But the fight is just, it's the end of another year. Another full year has gone by. And I feel like, Please don't, don't let me see 2019. That's so depressing, but it's, I feel so worthless. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get a thought together and I, I just can't. This is killing me, but it's killing me so slowly. I don't know what to do to treat it. Everything my husband and I have researched costs so much money. Everything costs so much money. And it's not, there's no, there's no guarantee. There's not evidence that like, you know, 85% of people turn around on this protocol. No. The percentages are so low on everything. It, it makes you feel like, what's the point? And I strive because of my family. I strive because of my grandchildren. And I have days like this and it's like, I don't want to do it anymore. It's so much work. People, 
don't realize. They get up. They go off to work, school, do their day, and they don't give it a second thought. I did that for years, never giving it a second thought. When I became a nurse, I did start at that point because I'd be in the hospital and I'd be seeing people that couldn't even toilet themselves. They were so sick. And then it started occurring to me. Wow. You're lucky. You're, I'm sorry. I'm here. My hand's getting stiff. Um, I have my soon-to-be two-year-old grandson. His birthday's November 7th tomorrow morning and I'm I'm at my worst in the mornings so this will be a real challenge especially because he's two can't just put him in front of the TV with a bowl of cereal and say give Gammy a couple minutes and then we'll play um, that's what it is. I'm sorry. I really wanted this. Plan to redo this bedroom be something that would excite me and distract me and, and, and you know, it will, it is exciting to me because if I can finish it, and I will, with my husband and I, we will finish it, but, and hoping the kids will be really delighted with a new play area, but, um, it's a lot of work. today, some of you would just fall over and think, Lainey, I couldn't even do a quarter of what you did today. I get that. I get that. Believe me, guys, I know some of you are worse off physically than I am. Hauling stuff down the stairs, through my garage, out the door, to the back of it, where we keep our garbage cans hauling baskets of crap just to dump. I mean, I just, folding clothes, taking clothes in and out, and oh, I did two loads of laundry. Um, just sitting and sorting through things, and it was a lot of work. <laughs> Stuffed up. Um, And I'll get the room done. I will. Maybe that could be my legacy. The last thing Gammy does for her grandbabies is makes a really special room for them. With what little I have. But anyway, I want to, I got through this without crying. And that's what I want to do, is get through this without crying, because I was bawling the first two times I tried to vlog. And there's nothing wrong with bawling, but I do it, I do it a lot. My heart breaks. literally breaks. Well, I'm not going to get through this. When I see any of you on your vlogs hurting so bad 
and I want to reach out and go, I, I know how you feel. Why? Why won't God just help us to make this stop? Well, there you go. I didn't make it through without crying. My brain tells me that God is in control and he loves me unconditionally and he wants the best for me. But, oh, I should put it the other way around. My heart tells me those things, but my brain doesn't back that up. <laughs> My brain tells me why in the world should anyone have to live like this? And my twinkles are so small and they're usually, well, they're always about my kids and my grandkids. It's the only little joy I can find in this life. Other than that, so I don't know what to do. I don't know how to treat. I just start getting in the infrared sauna on a daily basis. I don't know. I'm going to let you go. I've talked way too long. I love you guys. And I beg God, when I say the Lord's Prayer, because that's something a little personal, but at the end of my devotionals every morning, I always say the Lord's Prayer because... That was the prayer God gave to us. And it covers pretty much everything for the day. If you break up each part of that prayer, it's, it, it covers everything you need for the day. Where it says, deliver us from evil, I always stop and beg him. Beg him to deliver all of us from this. I Bag him. God bless. Hi. Thursday the 18th. Um, another night from... I don't even, I, I, this is getting to be ridiculous. At about 2 o'clock in the morning, after being woken up, twice and not being able to go to sleep after the second time 140 I was woken up um and at two I took a little bit more clonopin and then I kind of just slept fitfully after that <sighs> had to get up which is not like me to you know I had a get up. I told you my grandson got dropped off at 8. I made him breakfast. My head was swimming, but I made cheese and ham omelet for him and toast. And he and I sat at our little table over here for the kids and had breakfast and then I just played. We played cars, we played trucks, we played Blocks, we play match game. He can't play match game. He just pretends he's playing match game. Uh, we just played. Play toys, play toys, play toys. And <clears throat> then my daughter was going to go pick up my three-year-old grandson afterwards from daycare. Um, I guess they had a field trip, though, so his other grandmother went with him on this field trip so she could go to the 
doctors and um, she gets a call from the grandmother saying, you got to come pick him up right now. He's running a fever. He's really sick. We had to leave the, the field trip. So we had planned on going out and buying the paint. I planned on going out and buying the paint for the room with her. But she had to just go and get him and then come and pick up Wesley and go right home. Uh, Preston was burning up and not well at all. And she goes, so so great. Took the day off because I had that doctor's appointment and the babysitter had to take the day off. And now I get to go home and just sit all day with a sick baby. Such is life. She, um talked to her doctor she had been put on Lexapro she's been on Lexapro off and on a couple of times with the pregnancy she gets um not pregnancy postpartum she gets her postpartum depression she's had it a couple of times with each several of the kids anyway she's been on Lexapro for over a year it was a year ago this last summer that she was put on it and it wasn't because of postpartum. It was because she was having some very strange symptoms. It's a long story. Anyway, um, and she wants to get off of it. And she said to me that, um, unbeknownst to her, she thought she had a refill left on her Lexapro, and she didn't. And so it lapped. And by the time she had called in and got it re filled there she had gone three full days without any and um all she said was oh my god it was hell and I said well I could have told you that honey haven't you witnessed through me you can't just come off of it and she goes so I told the doctor that's really that scared the crap out of me three days and I was like I was dying and the doctor said well we're not going to even attempt to get you off of it until after the holidays. This is not the time to try to be weaning, but we'll get you off. And she goes in the, and she seemed very, very positive. And I said, really? And this is a PA at the doctor's office that I go to. We go to the same doctor, but she sees the PA there. And I said, because our doctor tells me that she hasn't had a lot of, um, positive um, outcome with getting any of her patients off these drugs. Success. I wouldn't say she hasn't had any. She just hasn't had a lot. And she said, oh, well, the PA was telling me that she has. And I said, oh, well, you know, we'll see, honey. I wish you well. I said, try getting off Clonopin. Get on Clonopin, you'll never get off that crap. Not unless you have 30 years to work on it. So anyway, my anxiety was really bad yesterday, most of the day. Thank God that was not the case today. Just swimming head, um, bobble head, um, achy. It's really cold. It's like the wind chill is 33 out, and I walked. As soon as she came and picked up the kit, uh, Wesley, I got on my coat and shoes, and out the door I went. I had to bundle up. It was a cold three miles, but I did it because I'm stubborn and stupid. But I don't know. I really have got some concerns about the LDN with my sleep. And I don't know. I'm, I'm scared of changing the time to take it. I'm scared of everything, guys. Um, somebody put up a post. They would go yesterday, I don't know, about post-traumatic post stress disorder after having chronic illness. I absolutely have it. I bet all of you do, too. We all have post-traumatic. We PTSD, absolutely. Everything, after going through this for as long as some of, some of us have gone through it, how could we not? 
when you are in chronic illness day in and day out for year in and year out, year in and year out, year in and year out, literally, your brain is not going to be okay. And my brain's not okay. Teresa, you left a comment. What do you do when you don't know what to do? You do something. You do something. Doing nothing is not proactive. And so what will that be? What can I what can I do? I don't know. That's what I was saying yesterday. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Can't afford the things that I would like to try to do. I don't know. The answer is to do something. When you do, what should you do? What do you do when you don't know what to do? You do something. You reach out and you, you try something different. But what do you do when you can't afford to do anything? Then you do nothing, right? I'm babbling. So that's my Thursday. Um, I only had him from 8 until 11.30. So only three and a half hours, um, but three and a half hours with a two-year-old, you know, he's active, but he was very good for me. He was very good for me. And we just played. A couple times I had to just sit down on the floor on a cushion and wait for my head to stop swimming so I could play again with him, but I don't know what to do about my sleep. This has gotten to be a real problem, this sleep thing. It's causing me a lot of anxiety in the middle of the night. When I wake up and I, I know, here we go again, then I get really super anxious because I just need my, like last night, um, I just need my sleep. And my dogs, this happened two years ago. They got infested with fleas with Frontline on them. I, we put frontline on our dogs, but something happens and, um, they're very sensitive and they, I told my husband, I go, we just got to get them to the vet. We got to get them to the vet because they need steroids because they have this dermatitis that they're allergic to the bites. So their skin gets all red and they're just, they're chewing themselves raw. Now, um, my husband has given them a flea bath and... Just put more front line on them. You know, doing the typical thing. You're supposed to vacuum, 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 vacuum. That's what I'm doing. Um, I'm not finding any fleas on us. I'm not seeing it on, you know, flopping around on us or anything. I only, I have only found two on Chewy, as a matter of fact. He's blonde and very easy to see on his skin and body. And I only found two and I killed them. But that doesn't mean there isn't some eggs or larvae. Anyway, oh gosh. The point being is that they all night long choo 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 choo, lick, 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 choo 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 choo, itch, 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 choo choo. I can't sleep. And it's like, stop it. I try to throw them out of the bedroom, then they bark and scratch at the door. And it's like, I need to, I need to just go in another bedroom. If I thought that I could sleep in our new guest bedroom, and it's a brand new bed. It's been slept in once when my sister came to visit back in May. It's a brand new bed set. Why don't I just go in there and sleep? Shut the door. I'm not around the dogs. I'm not around my husband with his snoring and everything. And maybe I could sleep? Probably not. Carolyn, my PA, wants me to have a sleep study. She wants me to suggest that to my doctor when I get my physical in November. Huh, good luck. I won't sleep. What are they going to study? Me laying there? <sighs> God, what a life. What a freaking life. So, that's it. That's my Thursday. Lord willing, we'll be back at it again real soon. Bye-bye. Hello. It's Friday. And I'm clearly out of my walk. I 
again, again. <laughs> Not good sleep. It's just every night now, every single night. I'm either not falling asleep easily or I'm waking up and staying awake for hours or it's just fitful sleeping. There's not solid sleep. So, of course, per usual, I wake with my horrific head. And um, I'm struggling right now to stay upright. I have to really concentrate on the walk. That's why I'm not really looking at you, the camera, because I have to really keep my eyes straight ahead. My head feels a lot of pressure, more so in the front than you, usually it's on the top of the head, it's, today it's really frontal pressure, and um, just um, confused feeling. Uh, I can't describe it more than that. I just don't. Wouldn't trust myself to make any decisions today because I feel too out of it, too wasted. Um, had some aches and pains, uh, in my knees, especially my knees. Um, my feet are killing me. My feet really hurt, so walking is not helping. My feet actually just hurt. They hurt. Um... Today, it's the last day on the oregano and olive leaf, and then I take a week off. And I'm going to tell you something. If I really feel different next week in regards to this, I mean, I can go back on that freaking oregano. Um, just found out through friends and through social media that Yolanda Foster is now being hit with Lyme again. Her, I guess she felt like, or she knew she had been in remission for a year. And here's someone who's probably spent hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not more, on artery treatment known to man. I read her book. I listened to her speak online, and uh, she's she's not she's not healed of it. It went it went into a little remission, but it's still there. It never went away. That truly, truly makes me lose hope. It really does. It makes me lose hope. She can afford any treatment that is offered in the world and she can't rid herself of this crap. What would make <laughs> poor little Lainey who doesn't have two dimes to rub against one another think that I'm going to get rid of it? So I walk to prove to myself that I can do it. That's basically the gist of it. And it is a beautiful day today. Uh, I mean, it's probably in the low 50s, 52, maybe. Much uh, nicer than it had been. This is killing my arm to even hold this phone up, so I'm going to have to cut off here. But I just wanted to pop in and say I'm walking with my head so bad in pain. I don't know what else to do. Hi. Well, it's afternoon, Friday afternoon. Um, I really haven't done anything. 
other than sit, chat with some couple people online, and that was about it. I'm getting ready to go out to the store, believe it or not. I'm going to go buy the paint. My husband's walking the dogs right now, so when he gets back, see if he wants to go with me <clears throat> to buy the paint for the room. Because once the paint's here, then it will push him to start painting the room and I can get this room finished and done. Um, <clears throat> it hasn't been a horrible day. Um, as long as I'm staying still, my head's not so bad anymore. It was really bad this morning. It was really woozy and really um, bad. Still I'm achy. Notice that my, my knees, and actually my left knee is swollen. Mm. Go figure. Yep. And being the weirdo that I am, I will measure it to see how much more. It's a good inch. It looks like it's a good inch. Um, let's see. Can you tell? I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if I'm even showing you my leg. Well, anyways, left leg is, left knee is swollen again. Um, and the first time I was ever tested for Lyme, that's what happened. Although it swelled way bigger than this. It, it was the size of my thigh. Um, and that's when I was told Lyme, that swollen knee is a telltale sign of Lyme disease. Anyway, but I knew that I was achy. And that definitely the left left knee is swollen up a little bit. Uh, so other than that, you know, don't know what to do. <laughs> so I'll add this to another vlog tomorrow. Tomorrow's church. That's all I have. I want to make my daughter her cake. Her birthday's next Wednesday, but I'm going to... Hmm, maybe I'll surprise her and make the cake on Wednesday and bring it over to her house before she gets home from work. That would be a nice surprise for her. It would even be a nicer surprise if I made dinner and brought dinner and the cake to her house. Wow. I don't know if I can do all that, but... Anyway, uh, just would like to get this playroom done. <clears throat> okay. Check in with you guys later. Bye. Hi. Um, let's see. I just took Motrin. I haven't taken Motrin. I don't remember last time I took Motrin. It's been almost probably a year. Seriously. A year since I've taken any Motrin, but I have this headache that is very weird. It's here. It's right here. It's not really migrainey, but maybe it is a type of migraine. I don't know, but it's um like a a sharp pain in here. Anyway, so I took some Motrin because I want to get to church. In an hour and a half, so um, I have a tooth that is sensitive, and I'm wondering if the tooth is causing this pain up here. That would make sense. Anyway, I haven't done anything today. I walked my three miles, and it was a oh, and I showered. Took my weekly shower. Um, when I left you last. We did end up, Sid and I went to Lowe's, got all the stuff we needed for the room, spent over $200. Boy, it racks up fast. Um, then from there, went to Walmart. Well, the, the lighting in Lowe's I knew was bothering me. And then going into Walmart right after, I became very off-balanced, extremely off-balanced, and it continued... So after I got home, I had to go right up on my bed and just, 
I stand my bed the rest of the night just fighting the the dizziness. It was pretty severe. Man, this headache. No, see, it's even here. It's just a headache. I mean, I had one of these in a long time. And my lymph nodes, by the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I told you they've been swollen back up and down. Oh, they're pretty swollen today. And my neck is killing me. And my left elbow is killing me. And my knees are aching. Um, I don't know what's happening here. I'm in a full-fledged, full-out um, assault on my body. It's the pain. Oh, see. I can't even look up. It hurts to look up. Uh, so I slept okay last night for me. I had a very disturbing dream. Won't get into it because it's so bizarre. But it clearly shows you what's in my subconscious. Um, and just feeling... Really crappy. Now with this headache and the neck pain. Ugh, just feels like it's ah uh, swollen and cramped up on the side. It's just oh, I I actually even got my heating um neck wrap and had that on there today. I haven't had to wear that since I've been on the LDN. And I had to wear that today. So that shows you and my my elbow, it's just it almost feels like it'd be painful to the touch, but it's not. But it's definitely uh, I don't get this at all. I don't get this at all. But I'm gonna push to go to church nonetheless. Praying that this Motrin will kick in. I just took it. Um, oh, golly. So, hopefully Sid will get started on the, on the room probably tomorrow. We're going to get snow tonight. Could accumulate up to an inch. It won't stick. It won't stay around long, but it's early for our first snowfall. But then next week it will go up in the 50s. 50s being low 50s, 50. So, but nonetheless, we're getting snow tonight. Everyone in my oldest daughter's house is sick now. Well, everyone but the parents. Uh, took my granddaughter to the doctor's yesterday thinking she even had strep. Quick test came back negative. I, I think I would have heard if she had it. So she doesn't have strep, but they're all fevers, sore throats, sick. So I'm praying to God I don't get it because I was with Wesley the other day and he got it that night. He got sick that night. So oh. So all I've done is laid around reading, playing on the laptop, pretty much doing nothing all day. Just waiting to go to church. So that's that. Um, it's just it's bothersome to me that I had to take Motrin for this pain. And my neck is bothering me so bad. Like I said, I have not. <coughs> well, you know what? My right elbow is sort of the touch too. What the heck? Why are my elbows? That's fibromyalgia. That's fibromyalgia. They're sort of even touch them. So strange. 
strange. I don't know. I guess that's fibromyalgia. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. It is Saturday. Let's see. Let's see. Today's the 20th? Today must be the 20th, yes. God, I have to really think about it. Wow, my head hurts. This is bad. So I'm going to let you go because my head's really, it's getting worse. I don't know why. That's not like me. We're going to be back and see you guys at another time. Bye. Good morning. Whatever it is for you, it's the 21st, 20, it's 21st Sunday. Try to make this as quick as possible. I went to church with that horrendous headache, took the Motrin. Um, it finally subsided after about two hours. My elbows literally hurt so bad they hurt to touch. They were tender in certain areas. Fell asleep okay, but woke up around one with all the symptoms flooding through me. I laid there until sometime after two and took a little chunk of little teeny bit of clonopin so I could just doze off and on the rest of the night. Woke sometime after four with air hunger, extreme air hunger, and battling it all morning. That is starting to subside to be replaced back with the wonky head. I'm just, I'm, I'm angry, I'm tired, I'm sick, I'm fed up. I sit and listen to the word of God and I try to absorb it and say, yes, yes, Lord, you never fail me. You never leave me. <clears throat> you are always here for me. And yet here I am. It's infuriating. I have to live this every single day. Wake up every single morning feeling like crap. I would just one morning, please, just one morning so I'd know what it feels like. Just one. Nope. Not going to happen. My husband just left to go to the hardware store to grab, I, he thought he had um, hole filler. And he didn't. He's going to start working on the room today. Guess what? I'm no help. I can't do a thing. I know the way I'm feeling. I would not be able to do anything to help him. I have to go visit my mother today. Today's her visiting day. And that in itself is going to be all I can. That's about all I'll be able to squeeze out of me. I can't take a walk because I don't want to go on the treadmill. And it is. I can't believe it's not snowing yet. We were supposed to get snow. It is like 32 degrees out and windy. It, the wind is whipping. So not going outside to walk. Can you tell by the way I'm acting? I'm pissed off. I am. This thing pisses me off. Be like this every single day anyway. I'd like to get back to church tonight because today is Pastor Appreciation Day. I think that is across the nation. I don't think it's just for our church. And so they're having a function at the church tonight for Pastor Appreciation. And I'd like to go. <laughs> I doubt I'll be able to. Especially since I'll be going by myself. Because I don't know what's going on with my husband, but he just he just will not go to church. And I don't talk about it with him. I'm just not going to discuss it with him. I don't know. I mean, I have my thoughts as to why. I mean, I think I've said it before that if, we, if I was able to go back to our old church, he would go. Because that's where he wants to be. But he could, nobody's stopping him from going. I don't know. Anyway. That headache was really strange. It was very intense. And the, the my elbows still hurt. 
I don't really think they're swollen. They just hurt. And like I said, I squeeze them in certain areas and they're tender, like fibromyalgia, the tender points, knees, feet, lower back. Supposed to get a full moon on Wednesday. Hip, hip, hooray for that. So that was my night. Here's my day. I pray that it gets a little bit better. I can't guarantee anything because I have no control. I have no control. That's the thing that really pisses me off about this. You know, you get an ache, you take a Motrin, it goes away. You put some heat on it, it goes away. Some things you have control over. This, you have absolutely no control over. Nothing you do makes it better. And that's what pisses me off. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry that I'm being so brutal, but that's where I'm at. So I'm not going to vlog anymore today. I'm done because I'm so angry and I don't want to start crying. So I love you guys. I'm praying for you. God bless. And Lord willing, maybe you'll see me again another day.